Welcome to 1991. I'm the 10th enemy. Let's play Castlevania 2, Belmont's Revenge. This is the good Castlevania game that was released for the Game Boy. There were two others, but I'm not going to talk about those. So this time, we're going to take control of Christopher Belmont. And here's the story. I hope the quality is good enough for you to read it, because I don't feel like it. I know some people don't like when when they are read to, but that's just as that's just as good. Whatever. So it's a classic Castlevania storyline. Dracula is is trying to be revived, or he was revived, or he's going to be revived. It's the same in every game, really. Not every game, but most of them. It's a weird name. So, I'm not, I don't even know how to say that. Four castles. So we have four castles to go through this time. And don't worry about the, the palette. I'm going to change it each time to match whatever castle we're in. It's sort of a dark green because this time we'll be doing the plant castle. So in this game we can actually select stages. So we have four and I can select any one. I'm going to select this one plant castle. So I know recently, or relatively recently, the Metroidvanias have become popular, starting with Symphony of the Night, but this is the only Megavania that I know of, that is a Castlevania game that plays like a Mega Man game, or it's designed like a Mega Man game. Oh. Man, it's frogs. I'm telling you. So that's why I have this sort of dark palette here. But it's the plant castle, and at least in my mind, it's a swamp. So I don't know if it's really supposed to be, but it is in this LP. So we're Christopher Belmont here. Traveling through the swamp to reach something. I don't get. I don't get what the deal is with the four castles. But we need to kill the castles for some. We can't kill a castle. Kill whoever lives there. I guess. So there's eyeballs. These things down here. They're called spitters. It's a stupid name. I'm just gonna. I think I'm going to call them Bone Towers, because that's what they look like, and that's what they are. This palette makes these bats look really cool. <laughs> Red and black. Anyways, the spitters actually will downgrade your whip whenever you get hit by one, so they're definitely the most annoying enemy in this game. Well, perhaps. So I'm going to say, right off the bat, this is, this is a pretty easy game by Castlevania standards, up until the final two bosses. And those, those bosses are ridiculously challenging, so I can't guarantee that I won't be using save states for those. Everything else. Oh, I didn't. I didn't want to hit that candle there. I want to just skeleton. Oh, you stupid skeleton! Actually, he's a smart skeleton, isn't he? 
never seen skeletons climb on ropes before. And again, I've never seen a Belmont climb on ropes before. Huh, I wonder. Oh, I didn't want to. Oh my god, come on. This is not going too well. Okay. Well, there's more. There's more turkeys somewhere. Or whatever they are, I don't know. I think they're pork chops. Okay, deadly fish. <laughs> I didn't know what these were the first time I saw them. I thought they were spiders, but then I learned that they're not spiders. And you'll be seeing why shortly. I was gonna say there actually are spiders in this game. Horrible. Horrible spiders. Oh, I didn't want it. What am I doing? Oh my god, I'm not thinking. Okay, we're still okay. So, this is pretty much the only good Game Boy game, or good Game Boy Castlevania. I haven't played the others, but I've heard terrible things about them, so. Uh, I'm gonna pass on them, I guess. But this one is, is awesome. Besides the final bosses, which is just... Ugh. Can't... I'm not gonna think about that now. So here... I, I don't even... I'd rather just go down here. Because it is not worth it staying up there. The dangerous up there. Spikes on the ceiling, you gotta jump over those eyeballs. Can you move slower through that the swamp or whatever it is? <clears throat> okay, here are the spiders I was talking about. It's good I have the uh, upgraded whip that shoots fireballs. That's that's always helpful. We can kill the spiders with fire. Oh wait, don't wanna you don't wanna hit those. Wanna let them Uh oh. Just got so got a crazy lag spike. Okay, I hope I'm far down enough here. Alright then. Okay, the music is switching over. I love this music. It means you're getting close to the boss. Of course, every Castlevania level has a boss. Now, the bosses in this game are pretty easy, again, by Castlevania standards. Uh, always looks like you're going to hit those spikes there. But you don't. So here they are. There's the boss. Those statues there. I don't know what they're supposed to be. But basically, I'm just gonna throw axes like crazy, whip them, get hit by their fireballs. That should be alright. Like, what am I doing? You don't whip him when he's over there. I don't think you can whip through the, uh, the handles. Maybe, oh, you can, I guess. Yeah, you can. So well, that's that. It's a plant castle. Ah, oh, this game is fantastic. It doesn't get enough love. We get our health refilled, and now we get to choose an another level. But that will be that will be next time on Let's Play. Castlevania 2, Belmont's Revenge. Thank you for watching. Uh, this is the 10th Enemy. Signing off.